What's going on guys? It's your boy Christian here back at you with a brand new Harajuku vlog. It is so, so bright outside. We're here doing some sneaker shopping and some thrifting. This vlog will be all about thrifting, but just so you know, I did a sneaker shopping one as well. So I'll leave that linked down below. You guys can watch that, but let's do some thrifting and we're gonna start off with the ragtag that's right across of the Adidas flagship store. So let's check it out. We have a Cad Vamps hat right here. Pretty cool. Don't see Cad Vamps hats at the thrift stores very often. This is going for 6,700 yen. That's a really good price. That is a really, really good price. We also got some Vetement Reeboks. Oh my gosh. What happened? Uh, I can't tell if these are like basically brand new. Are they supposed to look like this? Brand new? I mean, this is a secondhand store, but I feel like this is the shoe that they would uh, release in this kind of condition. And these are going for 82,600 yen. Here's a look at their uh, sticker selection. Of course, they got the usual suspects like the Supreme Box logo, but they have some other stuff here too, which looks pretty cool. So I just touched what might be the softest flannel I've ever held in my life. They have a mastermind Japan flannel, yellow and red. It's going for 68,000 yen. Really amazing color. The yellow, the red, the black. We got mastermind on the back, but for 68,000 yen, that's a really hard to, uh, you know, try and buy. Here's a look at the sneaker selection that they got. They got these vet mounts right here. The sock running looking shoes. They had these in May last time I was here and they're still here. These are 30,400 yen in a really, really good shape. Like check it out. They're still really, really clean. All over patent leather. Fear of God sneakers here for 80,000 yen. Beluga Yeezys, some pink Zoom Fly Off Whites. We got the uh, the fake Puma RS uh, sneakers right here too. We got some Off-White Vapor Max, which look basically brand new. These are going for 67,900 yen. These are Really cool to hold in person, but it's a bit expensive. 68,000 yen for these Vapormax off-white. Price on these are crazy, man. The Union Air Jordan 1, 170,700 yen. I think these are brand new too. Yeah, these, these have got to be brand new. That is really, really expensive. Really nice pair of shoes, but uh, I can't, I don't know why they're so expensive. Even in Canada, I, I don't know what the whole story is behind these shoes. And then the last sneaker here I want to show you guys are the 750s or 90,500 and the gray gum colorway. Over here is another cabinet where they store a couple of Supreme items. So you guys can see, here's the look at it. Oh, they even have a cause back there. And they have a Supreme LV phone case. That's a, a sweet 203,000 yen for that phone case. Yo, these are crazy. I didn't know that Mastermind did like some Disney Mickey Mouse hoodies, but they want 18,000 yen for this Mickey Mouse Mastermind hoodie right here. And then they also have a like silver bedazzled sparkly one here as well. And this one's going for 18,000 yen also. So that was Ragtag and next up we're going to be going to Brand My Star. One cool thing they always do with a lot of these displays for the windows for these uh, second hand and thrifty uh, street resources. They always have so much heat there. Like check it out. We've got these massive Louis Vuitton luggage things here. We've got some Supreme. We got some uh, more Supreme and more Supreme. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's get inside and see what they have in here. Here's a look at the sneaker selection that they have on the first floor. And I want to say the most heat they have here would have to be the uh, Supreme Air Force Ones. They still have these. These were here last time I was here in like April or May. So 80,000 yen for those. Time for the second floor. Up these stairs here. Whoa. They got lots and lots of CDG here, and uh, yeah, we'll take a look at what they got. Take a look at all the babe jackets they have. Oh my gosh, so many babe jackets. We got some babe tees over here too, and I always find some very interesting sneakers in the uh, display case. Boom, Air Max 95s, these animal print ones, pretty cool. We got some Gatorade 6s. Ooh, Dorenbecker 4s. These, these are the real deal compared to the previous ones we found for 25,000 yen. These are 90,000 yen. And, uh, damn, that's expensive. Looks like we got a size 10 pair of bread ones from 2013 for 120,000 yen. Okay, that's, uh, that's, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. And then we have what looks like to be a uh, 94 pair, I think, of some Nike Air Jordan 1 breads. 
50,000 yen for these. Here's a look at the Reebok selection. We've got some Bape Insta Pumps right here, going for 53,000. We also got the uh, the Grinch ones too. Those are pretty crazy and hairy. Hairy. Pretty decent selection of Bape hoodies right here. Lots of sharks. We got a gray and camo. We got a black camo with blue. I don't see that one very often. It's pretty cool. 50k for that. They got a fuzzy panda. Super fuzzy panda for 25,000. And then they also have the uh, regular black with the green camo shark too. Here is a look at the sneaker selection that they got. A lot less than last time. And then here's a look at the rest of the uh, sneakers that they carry. It's not a bad price. Nothing no. too, too crazy. So the next store we're going into is called Kinji Used Clothing and uh, this one is in like a basement area. It smells like, like Teen Spirit, I think that's one way you could put it. They have a lot of loud rock and roll music that they play, um, like throwback, screamo stuff too, like System of a Down. And uh, it's right here, ba bam. This location, we usually find fake streetwear right at the front, like fake Bape, fake LV Supreme. So let's go check it out, see what they got. No typical, you know, culprits, no fake vape or supreme this time. This is just a regular little little table they have for all their college hoodies and stuff like that and sweaters. In the back of the store they usually have some pretty decent shoes. And then the throwback stuff here. They have so much like throwback sports memorabilia jackets and everything. I bought a really cool Adidas uh, jacket from here for like $40. Got a lot of pants too. So many track pants. This used to be a what you call a bomber jackets, but I guess they switched it out. They got some really beat up waffle sneakers. Okay. So here's the back corner with all of the shoes and uh, hmm, let's see what we got here. Nothing, nothing that catches my eyes right away. Mm, no, it doesn't look like there's a, a mama shoe today here at all. That was rather disappointing. This store used to be so much better like every other trip, but this trip is like not even not even the same store anymore. So anyways, let's get going over to the next one. All right, so the next store on our list is Kindle Harajuku right behind me up these stairs. It's probably one of the best stores you can go to for thrifting and secondhand clothing, so let's go and check it out. All right, so getting into Kindle Harajuku, probably one of my favorite secondhand thrift resale stores in Japan. I actually bought my Supreme Camouflage box logo from the store. Stepping in, the first thing you guys are gonna see are a bunch of sneakers sitting at the front little counter. They have a bunch of Nikes, Jordans, Adidas. These are typically the latest releases that they have out on display at the front. The prices are on the, uh, they're, they're pretty much market value for the most part. You might be able to find some steals like these right here, the Atmos uh, Roger Federer Air Jordan 3s. We got some Air Max 1s right here, some really dope ones, so the Safaris. And then they also got some Element React 87s. The selection for the Yeezys isn't as big as it used to be. And then uh, there's also some Pharrell and other Yeezy Datu collection. Here's the Jordan stuff, the off-white stuff. So if you're a hype beast and really want those off-white kicks, this is a location you gotta check out. And then they also have a bunch of like random GR sneakers, stuff that is not as hyped as the other shoes I showed you earlier. Here's the Supreme little area. They have a bunch of Supreme, Supreme bags from fanny packs to backpacks. They had some box logos. They even have that Supreme like toolkit back there as well, which is pretty cool to see. You don't see that too often. And then checking over on the other side, there's some more hats as well. Lots and lots of hats available. Here's some of the Supreme sneakers that they have, the collaborations that Supreme has done in the past. Then they have a Supreme rack and not just one. They they have multiple Supreme racks in Kindle Harajuku, so if you're a big Supreme fan, definitely worth checking out. This is like the outerwear selection that they had, a lot of jackets, windbreakers, stuff that's going to keep you nice, toasty, and warm, and uh, probably nothing I really want because it's expensive. They also have a bunch of t-shirts as well, so if you're looking for something that you can wear pretty much any time of the year, they had a lot of Supreme shirts, and it's pretty much organized by color, so it's pretty easy to find if you're looking for like a particular kind of shirt. Uh, and you know what you're looking for, just go to that particular color section. Here's a Nas tee, they had it for 30,000 yen. And uh, some of the prices are decent, some are average, um, but for the most part, Supreme is expensive in Japan. If you guys didn't know, Supreme at retail costs like 30 or 40% more than the US retail. So you're already paying resale essentially by buying your Supreme at the Supreme store in Japan. Supreme's really inflated. They do have a lot of older releases too. So if there's a thing you missed out on that came out a few years ago and it's used, 
then you might be able to find something you are looking for. Here's a look at the box logo t-shirts that they have. They have a glass cabinet basically with all the major heat. Here's a look at the sticker selection. I typically buy some Supreme stickers here to give away to you guys, but I decided not to buy any today. Here's a look at more of the streetwear. They have a lot of streetwear available. They also have a lot of designer as well. So if you want some designer flair, they got you with the Louis Vuitton. They got you with the Gucci. They got you with the Balenciaga. Like check this out. We got some cool Saint Laurent Paris, I believe. A really nice jacket right here. This is really, really clean, but super expensive. At least a thousand dollars. Yep, that's a hundred ten thousand yen right there. Eight, oh, now eighty thousand yen for this Sakai jacket. This Sakai denim jacket is super, super cool, and I am looking forward to that Sakai uh, blazer, Nike. That's come, Nike blazer that's coming out soon. Here's a CDG Play selection. It's all brand new. They don't carry any used CDG Play, unlike some other stores. And then here's a look at the Gucci selection that they had too. Lots of Gucci. If you were looking for some Gucci or Balenciaga, I think this store is pretty decent. You might want to check it out. They had the Bernie Sanders hoodies and this, these Versace. These Versace sneakers are crazy. It's like three soles in one. It's, it's really weird. The Bape selection wasn't the greatest, but they had a couple of shark hoodies or tiger hoodies. Some stuff that you don't see too, too often. And then they also had a couple of t-shirts as well. But for the most part, if you're in Japan, your best place to buy Bape is at the Bape store, let's be honest. And they had some Supreme Foams. With that said, let's get going to the next store. Next up is the store I actually bought my Supreme Fives at. It's called Blows, right behind me. It's on the top floor all the way back there. And uh, their prices are somewhat decent, so let's go inside and see what they have. Some Oxford Tan Yeezys here for 36,000 yen, size eight. Got some semi-frozen yellows. Oh, they're playing the My Hero Academia theme in the background. Ooh, we've got some Turtle Dove Yeezys, size 11, 50% off. These are regularly basically 200,000, or 180,000 yen. Divide that by two, 90,000 yen for these right here. I've never seen these Converse before. These are really, really nice. It's like a brown tiger camouflage right here with rope laces, 19,440 yen. These are really dope. Size 27.5, these are my size. I'm actually so tempted to buy these right now. I never thought I'd pay like $200 for some Converse in Japan, but these are really, really nice. Check out the box too. This, this is like an old school looking box. This is cool, man. All-star beige. Size 9, 27.5. We also got the uh, Element React 87s in the black white colorway. These are going for 27,000 yen, size 27.5. Band Supreme right here. These are going for 12,000 yen for this collaboration. And then they got the Half Cab Supremes as well. These are going for 23,760 yen for these ones here. Got some Supreme Air More Up Tempos for 48,500 yen. The gold is very, very glimmery and shimmery and bedazzling. Oh my gosh. Ooh, we also found some Supreme. Nike jerseys too. Not too bad. I like that colorway. Here's a uh, glass cabinet as well with a bunch of shoes. They have a bunch of the off-white stuff all on the top. We got some slam dunk sixes right there for 62,000 yen. Got some more goodies over here. Got the, uh, I think these are a, uh, what's the name of this? Shoot, I forget. It says there, there it is. Supreme SBs on the tag. He's doing for 59,000 yen. They got this massive Gucci backpack for a really good price. It's not too bad, 150K. And then uh, over here, we got the Supreme, not Supreme, we got the Ramoa Off-White suitcases, the smaller one for 250K. And we have these. I unboxed those for you guys on the channel uh, last week, I think, for the cheapest Off-White sneakers you could buy. They're like the van sort of style. Um, and those were 220 US dollars, but I don't know how much they're going for here. Probably double that. Next door on our list is the Brand Collect Harajuku. Let's go inside and check it out. This is a sick X large jacket right here. Massive, bulky. Here's a look at their Supreme little cabinet. They got so many box logos. They got hoodies, they got t-shirts, they got crew necks. They got a lot of Supreme in this cabinet. What the heck? They even have like a science kit for 10,000 yen. The uh, master sculpturing, detachable parts, and highly detailed finish. This is the transparent torso anatomy model for 10,000 yen. Again, we also got some gloves, and then we got some more accessories down here at the bottom. They have a ton of North Face jackets over here. Lots and lots of them, and then some more down here too. In the back corner, we got some Supreme bags with some matching hats and some sort of matching shoes as well. 
That's pretty cool. Got a nice Louis Vuitton wallet here for 23,000 yen. And a belt in the back there too for 23,000 yen. Very loud neon yellow duffel bag by Louis Vuitton for 280,000 yen. Holy cow. In the back of the store here is where they carry a lot of the Supreme. So we have Supreme long sleeve shirts. We got Supreme hoodies, Supreme sweaters. We have this cool one here, red and gold for 23,000 yen. Like that design. Lots of heavy embroidery going on there. We got a bunch more too, like the champion stuff. We also got these hoodies or zip-up hoodies. Let's look at some more. I don't really care too much about this stuff here, so not gonna get too detailed, but here we go. Some more champion, some more supreme. Yeah, there we go. Brand Collect is in the corner all the way over there. And the next store I want to show you guys is called Second Street. But this location does not let you film inside, so I just wanted to show it to you guys so you guys can go check it out for yourselves if you guys do come to Harajuku. Highly recommend it. They have some pretty decent stuff there. And then right across the street from 2nd Street, we have a very, very expensive resale store with lots of lots of Supreme. This one's called Babylon, and uh, it's just really, really expensive stuff. Think like flight club prices for all the Supreme items. They got Supreme, Yeezy, Anti-Social, Social, Social Club, uh, Palace, and Nike all inside of there. All right, so now we are inside a store called Bass Store, and uh, they have a few of these. It's a pretty big chain. There's a lot of women's and men's clothing here, so if you're not a guy, definitely a place you gotta hit up because there's a lot of variety to choose from. Here's looking at some of the shoes they got. We got some Converse One Stars for 10,000 yen. We got this like red, weird Converse ones. It's a collaboration with Sean Pablo Cons. These are 13,000 yen for these ones right here. Full cool camouflage Converse for 5,000 yen as well. Red patent leather Nike Cortez right here. These are really, really cool. These are going for 6,900 yen. They also have these undercover Converse as well. 15,000 yen for these. They got the face Tasm Converse Poggers. up here too. That Lakers colorway. NMD uh, Human Race right here as well for 23,000 yen. Got this cool Bape jacket for 25,000 yen. It's yellow on the outside. Camo on the inside. Don't think it's reversible, but that's really, really cool. We also got a Hood by Air t-shirt here, or a long sleeve shirt. For those of you guys who've been following streetwear for a while, you would know about Hood by Air, but if you're a newbie, you don't know anything about it. And these just came out, Carhartt Air Force Ones. I'm surprised they actually have them here at the store. These just came out like a couple of weeks ago. They want 19,000 yen for these ones. Expensive, expensive. And to wrap up our time here at Bass Store, we got this whole rack right here. This entire section is Space Tasm. Jacket right here, a little different. Black panels on the side, pretty cool. We got a jacket here too, size small. This jacket's actually really, really nice. Check this out though. They have a uh, like a schoolgirl kind of shirt going on here. All black, oh, and then on the very back, else? you have that little thing on the back. It's cool, it's different, you know, if you're not from Japan and you want to get in that little Japanese schoolgirl uniform outfit, Shin -shin this is boys. the way you can do so. And this is a cool long sleeve shirt or hoodie they have for 11,000 yen. Not my style, definitely, probably, it's definitely out there, that's for sure. And then these are a couple of the face Tasm shirts that they have. Nothing that I really like, genuinely, there's just, no, 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 no. Easy passes for me. That's gonna wrap up our time shopping at Bass Store. We did a lot of thrift shopping today, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button down below. Use code SneakerTalk on Kenshi.ca to save some money off of all the gear that they have on their website. With that said, thank you guys for watching this Thrifting in Japan vlog, and we'll catch you guys over in the next video. Peace.